let's talk about everything you need to know about each trim offered on the 2024 Subaru Forester. There are six available trims for the Forester, but which one's right for you? Let's find out. In this video, we'll be covering engine and drivetrain options, standard features and standard safety features, each trim level offered, added features, available options, and exterior and interior color choices. We'll add some context with Nationwide Inventory, and we'll wrap up with our top picks. Let's do it! Just a few months ago, the upcoming 2025 Forester was unveiled. It's crazy to look at the evolution of this model over the last almost 30 years, as it's transformed from an arguably quirky looking lifted station wagon to a sleek crossover SUV. Even with many eyes on the upcoming model, there's still plenty to love about the 2024 model. And if you're watching this video, you certainly understand that. Let's get into it. All Foresters will receive a 2.5 liter Boxer engine making 182 horsepower. In case you aren't informed, the Boxer engine, more formally known as a horizontally opposed engine or a flat engine, is a unique design only used by one other manufacturer in the modern era, Porsche. We won't get too deep into any engineering, but just know the main benefit here is the mass of the engine is mounted much lower in the car, giving it a lower center of gravity. Staying solidly on brand, all Foresters will come equipped with Subaru's signature symmetrical all-wheel drive system. A common misconception exists that the symmetrical means the system has a 50-50 power split between front and rear, but not exactly. It actually has to do with the equal length half axles. The entire system lies along the center line of the vehicle, balancing weight distribution between the two sides. The standard torque split is 60% in the front and 40% in the rear. But the system does have active torque split or torque vectoring and can send the power to the wheels that need it. And based on the reputation of performing well in bad conditions, it does so pretty well. Pair that all-wheel drive system with the Boxer engine, and you get a well-balanced drivetrain that will inspire driving confidence no matter the weather. All trims except the base model will receive X mode and hill descent control. X mode is essentially a low speed off-road mode that can modulate things like throttle response, transmission, and the all-wheel drive system in an optimal way to get you out of some stickier situations. Transmissions on all Foresters will be a linear Tronic CVT with adaptive control. Sport, Limited, and Touring trims will have a 7-speed manual control. Wilderness will receive 8 speeds of manual control. The Wilderness actually has a revised ratio in the transmission, allowing for more low-speed capability and allowing it to climb steep grades more easily. All Foresters will have a towing capacity of 1,500 pounds, except the Forester Wilderness, which can tow up to 3,000 pounds. Ground clearance will be 8.7 inches. With the Wilderness, you'll get an extra half an inch for a total of 9.2 inches. Standard features on all Foresters will be four-wheel independent suspension, four-wheel disc brakes, Subaru Intelligent Drive, or SI Drive, Subaru Starlink Media, auto on-off LED steering responsive headlights with high beam assist, a spare tire, 60-40 split folding rear seat backs, an overhead console with LED map lights and sunglass storage, multi-function center console with cup holders, rear storage box, and illuminated front storage tray, cargo area grocery bag and tie-down hooks, some underfloor storage in the cargo area, except for on the wilderness, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Bluetooth audio streaming and hands-free phone connectivity, 3.5 millimeter auxiliary jack, keyless entry system, and LED daytime running lights. We'll start standard safety features with Subaru's EyeSight driver assist, which is going to include advanced adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, pre-collision braking, automatic emergency steering, and pre-collision throttle management. Other safety features will include traction control, trailer stability assist, brake assist, brake override, vehicle dynamic control, a backup camera, rear child safety door locks, lower anchors and tether anchors for child seats, anti-theft security system, engine immobilizer, and a tire pressure monitoring system. All right, we'll start our trims with the base Forester starting at $27,095. Now, we have a saying here at Top Trims, life's too short to drive a base model. Well, it doesn't get any more base than a trim level literally called base. I don't mean to be disrespectful, especially since this might be the only affordable option for some, but I'm gonna share all the features you don't get on the base that you get on every other trim of the Forester, and you may cross this one off the list from the jump. Every trim except the base Forester will have driver and front passenger auto up down power windows. The base just gets an auto up down on the driver's side, push button start, a power rear lift gate with automatic close, height memory function, and a vehicle lock button. It's not available on the base, but it's either optional or standard on all the other trims. Leather wrap steering wheel, reclining rear seat backs, heated front seats, X mode, 
hill descent control, power adjustable driver's seat. Roof rails come standard on every other trim. There'll be an added option on the base. Windshield wiper de-icer and heated side mirrors. Panoramic power sunroof. Roof spoiler. Dual front USB input ports. You'll just get one on the base. Fold down rear armrest with cup holders. 4G LTE Wi-Fi capability. Subaru Starlink safety and security. This is basically their app that allows you to control the vehicle remotely. At this point, you might be asking, what do I get with the base? You'll get single zone automatic climate control, which we'll also see on the premium and the sport trims. You'll get cloth upholstery. You'll get a six-way manually adjustable driver's seat and a four-way manually adjustable front passenger seat. Black side mirrors, a six and a half inch multimedia screen and 17 inch steel wheels. Available options for the base Forester will be the alloy wheel package for $625, which adds 17 inch alloy wheels and roof rails. Available exterior color options on the base will be Cascade Green, Horizon Blue, Crystal White, and Magnetite Gray. The only interior option will be gray cloth. Now let's talk about the premium Forester starting at $30,295. That's about $3,000 over the base. For this, you'll get 17 inch alloy wheels, black with a machine finish, you'll have body color side mirrors, a 10 way power adjustable driver's seat with adjustable lumbar support, a four way manually adjustable passenger seat, a six speaker audio system, Sirius XM, and HD radio. Optional on the premium is blind spot detection and rear cross traffic alert, plus a power rear lift gate for $1,165. Exterior color options on the premium will be Horizon Blue, Crimson Red, and Cascade Green, all of which will come with a premium gray cloth interior. You can also choose Autumn Green, Brilliant Bronze, Crystal Black, Ice Silver, Crystal White, or Magnetite Gray, all of which will come with a premium black cloth interior. Let's step up to the Sport Trim starting at $31,865. That's going to be about $1,500 more than a premium trim. For this, you're going to get 18 inch black painted aluminum alloy wheels, body color side mirrors with integrated turn signals, sport cloth upholstery with orange stitching. And from the sport trim forward, we'll see a leather wrapped shifter handle, a color multifunction display, paddle shifters, dual rear USB charging ports, a rear gate light in the cargo area, except for we don't see this on the limited trim for some reason, and blind spot detection with lane change assist and rear cross traffic alert. For $1,645, you can add reverse automatic braking, an 8-inch center touchscreen, the Harman Kardon premium audio system, and a power rear lift gate. Exterior color options on the Sport will be crystal black, ice silver, magnetite gray, crystal white, or sapphire blue. The only interior color option will be gray sport cloth with that orange stitching. All right, let's talk about the wilderness trim. Starting at $34,920, it's going to give you some special touches like all-terrain tires, a full-size spare tire, hexagonal style LED fog lights, some textured folding side mirrors with integrated turn signals, roof rails with integrated tie-down points and anodized copper finish accents. Weight limits on these roof rails will be 220 pounds with a maximum capacity of 800 pounds. You also get Subaru's StarTex water repellent upholstery, a 180 degree front view monitor camera, reverse automatic braking, which will only be standard on the Wilderness and the Touring. And from the Wilderness forward, you will get dual zone automatic climate control as standard. $1,850 will get you navigation, a Harman Kardon premium audio system, and a power lift gate. Exterior color options on the Wilderness will be autumn green, crystal black, geyser blue, ice silver, crystal white, or magnetite gray. The only interior option for the Wilderness will be that gray textured soft -tex. All right, let's get into a little more luxury here with the limited trim, starting at $33,975. It's about $2,000 more than a sport trim. For that, you're going to get 18-inch alloy wheels that are black with a machine finish. You get body color folding side mirrors with an integrated turn signal, leather seating, and a power lift gate. For $1,695, you can add reverse automatic braking, navigation, that Harman Kardon premium audio system, and a heated steering wheel. Exterior color options on the Limited will be Autumn Green, Brilliant Bronze, Crystal Black, or Ice Silver, which will be available with a black leather interior. You can also choose Cascade Green, Crimson Red, 
or Horizon Blue, which will be available with a gray leather interior. If you choose Crystal White or Magnetite Gray, you can choose either black or gray leather. And we've reached our top Forester trim with the Touring starting at $37,395. That's going to be about $3,500 more than a limited trim. For that, you'll add heated rear seats, a heated steering wheel as standard, two position memory for the driver's seat and power mirrors, Subaru's driver focused distraction mitigation system, that Harman Kardon premium audio system, navigation, a 10 way power adjustable driver's seat with power adjustable lumbar support, and an 8 way power adjustable front passenger seat. You get 18 inch alloy wheels that are going to be dark gray with a machine finish and reverse automatic braking. The Touring is going to come fully loaded, so there's no additional option packages here. Exterior colors to choose from will be Autumn Green, Brilliant Bronze, Cascade Green, Crystal Black, Horizon Blue, Crystal White, or Magnetite Gray. Your interior options on the Touring will be either black leather or an exclusive saddle brown leather that we only see on the Touring trim. If you want Crimson Red, you can only get it with a saddle brown interior. And if you want ice silver, you can only get it with a black interior. All right, let's talk about nationwide inventory, which does not appear to be a problem for the Forester. And with no significant changes for the 2024 models, we'll include the 2023 models as well. We see the lowest available units of the base trim and an abundance of limiteds. With the other trims, we'll see pretty even inventory. So whatever trim you choose, you should have plenty to choose from. All right, let's get to our top picks. At every level, the Subaru Forester provides plenty of tech, safety, and capability for the price point. For our money, we'd choose the Sport Trim and opt for that additional option group that adds the reverse automatic braking, the 8-inch touchscreen, premium audio, and the power lift gate. Even with the added $1,600, you're in the low $30,000 range, well below the top touring trim, and you'll get a majority of the most desirable features the Forester has to offer. Plus, you get the more aggressive looks of the Sport. Now, if you can't live without things like leather seats and dual zone climate control, you may opt for the limited trim. Again, there's still plenty of value here. If you want the added capability of the wilderness and like the styling, no other Forester would quite fit the bill for you. There's still plenty of standard features, but it's all around a bit more unconventional and the styling is a bit polarizing. If you do want it, the price difference is pretty reasonable and it's unmatched compared to the other Forester trims. All that said, there's plenty of options for just about every Forester shopper. Which one would you choose? Let us know in the comments. Also let us know which car you want to see us break down next. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, stay safe, and remember, life's too short to drive a base model.